Hey guys, welcome back. It's Clay Tonner. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today's video is sponsored by Forsaken World Gods and Demons. It's a free-to-play mobile MMORPG that you guys can download straight to your mobile devices using the link in the description below. You'll dive into a world of never-ending adventure where you can actually raid a dragon slayer, search for lost artifacts, or just enjoy some fishing in the shade. And on top of that, there's actually something that's super unique, and it's that your actions will actually influence the world around you through epic story events that shape the future of the game. But what I like most about Forsaken World Gods and Demons is that you can completely customize your character's appearance and skills for a one-of-a-kind experience that stands out from the rest. And if you use the code MYFWGD once you download the game, it'll actually give you some items to help you get your first set of wings that'll make your character look absolutely sick. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So go ahead, download Forsaken World Gods and Demons right now using the link in the description below while we get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Clay Tonner. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I am Clay Tano, Clayton Kanemitsu. I'm the CEO of a company called Innovative Inc., which is the parent company for MLO Shoes, as well as a streetwear apparel company called Introverted Extrovert, which is the hoodie that I'm wearing right here. And I promise you guys, I would give you some more insight on my business, how it's going, be super transparent about numbers and everything we have going on. So that's today's video is going to be updating you guys on the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale that we had going on last weekend and uh, my like recap thoughts of like things we did good, things we did bad, things that we definitely need to make sure that we um, you know repeat again next year or definitely stay away from next year. So uh, with that being said, let's just get right into it here. So uh, for those of you that are in America and celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you guys had a great and wonderful safe Thanksgiving last week was able to you know spend time with your families while also maintaining that social distancing and uh you know getting getting a little bit of that like social interaction so hopefully you guys had a great holiday weekend and to explain black friday to those of you who may not be from america or may not know about what it is it is officially quote unquote the start of the holiday shopping season so a lot of people wait till after thanksgiving to start their holiday shopping for christmas and that's why all of these companies have created this culture around retail where they have their biggest sales of the year the day after thanksgiving which is therefore called black friday and so we as a new company knew that this is the the biggest retail weekend of the entire year but we didn't really know exactly everything about it because this is our first time uh, experience it. We, we haven't gone through a Black Friday weekend before and this was our first one. So we had some expectations of what we thought it was going to be, but we wanted to keep those kind of more managed and reasonable because we weren't really sure of how it would actually play out. Um, so we, we were working with a marketing agency that has been through it a couple of times. They wanted to manage our expectations and so they were throwing out different numbers of how much like sales we were going to do. We wanted to make sure that we had enough stock in our warehouse so that way uh, orders can, can continuously be fulfilled throughout the entire week and weekend. And so we were just trying to prepare ourselves as best as we possibly could without really ever experiencing something like this before um, in our lives. And our entire company is very, very new. Um, like our, our entire company, but everybody that works for the company is very new um, and doesn't really have a whole lot of retail experience either. So we're just trying to like wing this and have like a whole lot of fun while we're doing it at the same time. And I know you guys are enjoying all of our products and you know I, I see all your comments as well on our company's Instagram, my personal Instagram as well. So I really appreciate you guys, you know, reaching out to me personally, letting me know that you guys are enjoying our products and it just gives me more inspiration to, uh, to keep this ball rolling. So uh, enough of getting off topic, but as far as our strategy going into the weekend is we wanted to kind of take advice from other companies that have gone through it before, but then also do what our intuition was telling us that we should do. So, for example, some companies, they, if you notice over like a couple days before Black Friday, they started their Black Friday sale to like get a jump on it. And we're like, all right, so that's, you know, that's one strategy to go. But 
we wanted to build all of the hype up just for Black Friday itself. Like we wanted to make it just one big hype event day that um, that was just a whole fun experience for shoppers, for us as a company, and we just wanted to put everything into one day. So in order to build that hype around Black Friday, we were sending out email campaigns on a daily basis for about a week and a half leading up to Black Friday. So we would send out one email every single day, not really spamming people. Our emails are very, um, you know, very reserved. <laughs> they're, they're nothing like crazy in your face. It's just like, hey, we have this sale, it's coming up. Don't miss out. Here's a little bit more information the next day. Here's a little bit more information the next day. And we did like one email again leading up to it. And I personally was like, okay, maybe this is like a little bit too many emails, but I started getting emails from like Fitbit, Nike, and like flooded with emails from these companies, like two, three a day leading up to the sale. I'm like, all right, maybe we're not like marketing enough. Uh, but I was like, all right, no, let's just stick to the plan. We had the plan figured out. We knew what we wanted to do. So we're doing one email every single day. Now, typically what we were told was that sales would decrease leading into Black Friday weekend because it's natural human behavior to know like Black Friday is coming and we're going to save our money until Black Friday hits because that's when we're going to spend, you know, that's where we're going to, that's when we'll get the biggest deal, the best deal. Um, but we actually experienced something a little bit different is that our sales um, at the beginning of the month were kind of low because we were just kind of building our strategy. So typically we were at like about 15 thousand dollars of revenue per day uh, in October and then so at the beginning of November we kind of pulled back a little bit we adjusted our marketing campaigns to like generate some leads like uh, we did some giveaways and stuff so we had more people to market leading into Black Friday and then we started seeing an increase going back up to around that 15k range per day uh, right around like Thanksgiving time frame. So it was super interesting, especially on like Thanksgiving itself. We spent a lot less on advertisements on Thanksgiving because we thought it was gonna be like, you know, slow, like people are enjoying time with their family, et cetera. But the, the sales went up and our ad spend went down. So it was like a crazy profitable day for us on Thanksgiving itself. And then so going into Black Friday, we never announced what sale we were going to run. We we announced that we were running a sale, that we were going to run a sale, and it was gonna start at 12 a.m. midnight on Black Friday Eastern time, but we never announced like how much the sale was going to um, be affected. So we were all on a call on Thursday night, getting ready to like flip the site over, make sure all of our prices like got adjusted accordingly, made sure the sales were uh, ready to go, made sure we had like the creatives on the website ready to go, letting people know of like how much the sale was and everything else. And it was kind of fun. It was just like a, a watch party. We were all hanging out in Discord, um, getting ready for this like hyped up event, um, you know? And then we were posting also uh, social media pictures leading up to it as well on our, on our Instagram page. If you guys don't follow it already, it's at MLO.shoes. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Claytano. Follow us both. You'll get like a bunch of updates and, and cool stuff and maybe some behind the scenes looks as well on those channels. But anyway, so leading up to it, we're, we're on a call on Discord, like ready to go. We were hyped up, but again, we, we didn't know exactly what to expect. So we announce the, the sale. It's 70% off our entire store. Our prices were literally as low as we could possibly have made them. Like we we knew that we didn't want to take a whole lot of profit per per sale. And we just wanted to like get, let people enjoy the products at the absolute lowest amount possible. And uh, you know, as a new brand, we would rather, you know, get people our product, let them experience it, let them try it out in hopes that they'll come back and buy, buy more later on. So I don't know if that was the best strategy or not, but people absolutely loved it. And between the two stores, Introverted Extrovert and MLO Shoes, we did almost $100,000 in sales on Friday. Like as soon as the, the sale went live, it was just like 
sale after sale after sale. And I was thinking about live streaming it on uh, Twitch, on my Twitch channel, but I, I wasn't prepared for it. I just wanted to make sure that everything was going off according to plan and I wanted to focus on that. Next year, I will absolutely 100% live stream Black Friday. I also wanna do some live streams for like new sneaker drops as well. That way you guys can come in, talk to me while we're, uh, while we're getting ready to, to launch the new sneaker. So um, look for that soon. But anyway, so we did way more on actual Black Friday than we were expecting. We were uh, given advice that we would probably do about 20K sales over the entire weekend, which would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That's four days. So that way, basically, we were only expecting like a 5K increase per day. Um, information was a little bit wrong. We did, like I said, almost 100K in the first day alone. And that was like out of nowhere. Uh, now, we wanted everything to be all on that same day. We wanted people to have just one day to buy. However, we had a bunch of people that we knew that couldn't physically get the sale or take advantage of the sale on Friday because they were spending time with their family um, from Thanksgiving still. So we were like, you know what? You know, We've had a rough year. We're going to extend this even farther all the way through Sunday leading up to our Cyber Monday sale and let people just enjoy the shopping, enjoy the sales, get some stuff for their friends, their family and everything else. And um, yeah, I, I think overall people really uh, appreciated that. And we ended up doing um, another like 40, 40K per day on Saturday and Sunday, which again is like super insane for us. Now on Monday, we had a sale ready to go. It's a buy two, get two free sale. And, um, but the prices were gonna revert back to where they were before Black Friday. But we were doing the math like on Sunday and we were like, no, we can't have a sale one, we didn't have margin to to actually like go any lower on our prices, but then we also couldn't run a sale on Monday that was better than the sale that was running Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we actually ended up having to like increase the prices so that way the buy two, get two free sale was still really good. If you bought more than one pair of shoes, you would still get almost the same prices as you did on Black Friday, but you would have to buy two and then you'd also have to take advantage of the buy two get two free sale uh which it did cause a little bit of confusion for people like we just announced that we would do buy two get two free on monday and if you don't like really pay attention to like the prices and like math it all out as a customer i totally can see why people were like freaking out because they just bought two pairs of shoes or four pairs of shoes on black friday and now we're doing a buy two, get two free sale. So they're like, okay, well maybe I, I could have spent half as much, but no, like the prices of the shoes like went up to accommodate for that, but definitely won't do that next year. Uh, we'll probably just do like a set percentage next year um, and maybe just do like a cyber cyber weekend. Um, not sure, we just wanna make sure that there's no confusion as far as like the, uh, the, the sale, right? And we, don't, we never wanna get people that are unhappy because they feel like they purchased too soon or you know like it, it just wouldn't make sense so we we wanted to avoid that as much as possible last weekend um but still had a little bit of like confusion overall though uh cyber monday went extremely well as well and then um we just yeah we, we were just overwhelmed by the amount of support the orders our team were absolute all stars throughout the entire weekend as well. Like people were working overtime, but there was, we were all like, again, in discord, super responsive. Everybody was doing what they needed to do. And I'm just so proud of everybody from our team. Uh, we're small, we're a small business, but we're like, you know, working hard every single day over here to, uh, to make sure that you guys are, are taken care of as customers. Um, if you're not a customer yet, no worries. At least you can kind of understand like what it, what goes on uh, from a business standpoint. We're not like some big juggernaut company like Nike or anything. We're, we're a small new sneaker brand, streetwear brand that's like trying to trying to get our name out there. And we're, uh, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it guys. So uh, anyway, that's, that's just like the quick recap of 
our Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. Uh, I think if we had to do it again, like I said, we'd avoid that last uh, Cyber Monday confusion mistake. We would also get some influencers ready to go. We had some influencers post for us on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which we are super thankful for, but it was like a last minute thing that they were just like, you know, we can do this for you. And we're like, yeah, let's, let's go, like get some posts out. And so, uh, you know, it helped, but I would rather have like an actual campaign ready to go. People have the shoes. They, they know exactly when they need to post. And that way we can activate like some more uh, Instagram influencers, maybe some YouTubers and stuff like that. So if you guys have some recommendations on people that you think we should work with, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. We're always looking for some new uh, affiliates, partners, and people that we can collaborate with as well. Speaking of collaborations, I'm gonna give you guys a very vague preview, not even a preview, I'm just gonna give you a vague idea of uh, a pretty cool collaboration and sponsorship, not sponsorship, collaboration and partnership that we have coming uh, in December and Christmas. So stay tuned for that, follow us on social media, and if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and drop them down below as well. So aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting to you. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do I'll do more. If it was interesting, let me know, please. I don't do content like this normally. I'm typically playing a video game, but this is like equally as fun. So let me know, seriously. As always, stay soupy. I say stay soupy because S-O-O-P, it's like so overpowered. Don't be potatoes, because haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potate. Don't don't be a potato. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace.